Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to solve one more mad question and this question is not only a crazy one but also a slightly tricky one as well because at first I at least I was not able to come up with the solution right away after reading this question. I took my time and observed this whole problem and especially the input. And right after that observation, I was able to recognize the approach and come up with the solution. So I'll walk you through the whole procedure like how I observed the inputs and came up with that intuition and applied that algorithm and all these steps I will walk you through the whole procedure so let's see what is given in this question so in this question we are given with three input data that is first is a recipe array which consists of all the recipes second is the ingredient array and third is the supply array and what we have to do is we have to return a list of all the recipes that we can create with the supplies that are provided and the answer can be in any like right away i was not able to recognize the category of this question but then i observed this input a bit and then i realized that all the input like recipe array is dependent on ingredient and supplies and this dependency and connectivity between these arrays right away gave me a hint that this question is a graph problem so let's understand even more clearly using this diagram so as you can see i already highlighted the recipes and the ingredients that are required for that recipe so in recipes array like if at the zeroth index we are given a recipe as bread then in ingredients array at same index we are given a list of all the ingredients that are required to make that recipe so like you can see bread is at zeroth index and the ingredients are also at zeroth index. So let's plot this whole input data and then we'll see how we can solve this question. So I've drawn these nodes. Now let's see. As you can see the left side consists of all the supplies and right side consists of all the recipe. And we can make these recipes or not. That decision has to be made on the basis of what? Firstly, we have to check the ingredients. And then we have to check those ingredients in our supply. So if I'm going to check for recipe bread, then I can see the require, required ingredients are yeast and flour. So I can see these are my, uh, these ingredients are present in my supplies, right? So what I will do, I will draw this connecting edge from yeast to bread and then from flour to bread okay now i can say that i can go to next recipe right i will be checking for sandwich so sandwich need bread and meat so meat is present in our supply right but i can see that bread is also present in my recipes and i have already created it so i can connect this as well so this is another edge so now we have connected all the edges and now if I'm going to observe this whole diagram and all the edges, I can clearly see one. I can clearly see one thing that the these uh, I can say that these supply nodes are having in degree equivalent to zero, right? What is in degree? In degree is the number of edge edges coming towards these nodes, which is zero. So these three nodes have degree equivalent to zero, in degree equivalent to zero, right? But these two nodes bread and sandwich are having in degree equivalent to two and if i'm going to check the ingredients the length of ingredient list for both of these recipes i can see that the length of ingredient list is also equivalent to two so what i observed is the in degree of these nodes recipe nodes is equivalent to the number of ingredients required and secondly that the edges that are coming towards these nodes are from the ingredients that are going to be used to make these recipes right after seeing this diagram i'm pretty sure that some of you people who are already familiar with topological sort already recognize that we can solve this question using that algorithm but if other people who are not aware of this algorithm not an issue i will be explaining this algorithm in this question itself not in a very deeper manner but 
at least that much that will be helpful for you to recognize the pattern and why we are utilizing this algorithm so what exactly topological sort is topological sort is an algorithm which focuses on the in degree of all the nodes especially if the in degree is zero if the in degree of any node is zero like this one this one this one what it says insert these nodes in a queue so like yeast is first node flower will be second and third will be me and what it says then then it says that once you fill the queue with all the nodes with in degree equivalent to zero now traverse through this queue traverse through this queue pop these elements these nodes and delete their outgoing edges so if i'm going to pop yeast what is the outgoing edge this one is the outgoing edge i'll delete this one so what will be the in degree of bread in degree of bread will become one right then what i will do i will check the in degree of bread which is one and not equivalent to zero so i'll proceed towards the next element i will pop flower from my queue and again i will do the same thing i will delete its outgoing edge and then i will check the node from where it's deleted that is again bread again the in degree of bread is reduced and it becomes zero so now i can see that the bread's in degree is zero so what i will do i will insert this as well in my queue and i will again proceed towards the next node so i will pop this meat i will delete its outgoing edge so the in degree of sandwich becomes one now again i will do the same thing as the in degree is not zero i will not i'm not going to insert this node in my queue i will be popping this node that is bread from my queue and what i will do i will delete its outgoing edge and now sandwich in degree is also zero so what i can do i can again insert sandwich and again i will do the same thing i will pop sandwich and i will check its outgoing edge there is no outgoing edge so this is also my answer but the one difference that this whole algorithm works on is when we are popping this uh, these nodes from our queue and then deleting the outgoing edges and after deletion before the before we proceed with another node from the queue we insert the node that we deleted in an answer list or in an answer array so like according to this algorithm i must have inserted yeast flour meat bread and sandwich all of them in a list but as per our requirement i am not going to insert all the supplies in my answer list right i am not going to insert that so what we can add in our approach is once we pop the elements from our queue we will check whether this element is present in our recipe or not if it's present in our recipe we will be inserting it in our answer array else we won't be inserting it we will simply be deleting the outgoing edges of all the nodes checking their in degree if it's zero we will proceed if the ingredient if that node is present in our recipe then we will insert it else we will proceed towards next step so this is the whole topological sort is or kant's algorithm i have solved some similar questions on this algorithm that might be coming up on the right corner top corner of your screen so you can check out those questions from there but we will be solving this question using this approach and uh, i hope you all recognize that how we firstly recognize that all the inputs are dependent and connected and when these two words come up in your brain then simply plot this whole input data in a from in a form of graph and then try to visualize all these in degrees and out degrees or with which approach you want to solve we have solved this question using bfs topological sort and we all know that in bfs uh, q is being used and in this algorithm as well we utilized our q so i hope this whole algorithm was helpful this whole explanation was clear to you all and if not then let's jump to code then it might be clear to you all like how we are going to proceed and make these connections and how this algorithm is going to work so let's code this whole solution so firstly as we already saw that this algorithm focuses on in degree 
so we will be having our in degree default dict default dict is just to make sure that every time we are not going to check whether a value or key is existing in our uh, dictionary or not it will take care of it so for that we are using default dict and graph now what we are going to do is for every recipe and ingredient in zip of recipes and ingredients we are going to have another loop for i in ingredients so this will be the in degree in degree will be storing the recipe as a key and the number of ingredients as a value and then inside graph inside graph we are going to store ingredients and for that ingredient what we are saying just append the recipe so what exactly is happening here is in in degree we are have something like this where bread is this and two ingredients are required and for graph it is something like this where we are saying flour is being used in bread or if there is some more recipes so we can continue with the addition so this is the format okay so after we just fill this these two data structures with data we will create our answer array in which we will be adding our recipes and we already saw we need a queue so for that we will initialize a queue and and we will add all these supplies then for recipes we will create a set of recipes because we will be checking whether the popped element from the queue is a recipe or not right then only we are going to insert it in our answer so for that we will create a set of all the recipes after that this after that we will initialize our loop and inside it's this loop what we are saying x is equals to q dot pop left and after popping this what we are saying if x in recipes then answer dot append x and for i in graph of this ingredient we are going to check and if it's a ingredient or a supply then what we are going to do we are going to check we are going to decrement its in degree and after decrementing what we are checking if so if the in degree of this value is zero then what i'm saying append it in my queue q dot append x q dot append i and once we step out of this loop we will return our answer array so this is it firstly we initialized both the data structures we then populated the when then we populated these data structures and after populating what we initialized we initialized our answer array our queue created set of recipes and then we run a uh, while loop and then we popped the elements from q check if it's in recipe then we inserted in our answer or else what we did we deleted their out degree or reduced their in degree now let's run and check okay i did something r is not defined of course it is not r it is recipe these are a square bracket i'm just too bad with typos okay now it's working let's submit it and see okay we can see that this solution is working and it's pretty efficient and i hope that this whole video was useful for you all and if you really find this whole video useful then you can subscribe my channel like this video and i will soon come up with more such videos till then keep coding and thanks for watching